Yes, guys. Like we all know, we have come across a very significant crisis in 2020 in the form of COVID-19. You have realized that businesses have taken a significant hit because of your COVID impact. You found that during the periods of March, April, May, June, July, the businesses were significantly impacted due to the government restrictions on lockdown and also the commutation of public. So when such things have occurred, there was a significant impact on the businesses as well. And especially my impact, which I'm going to discuss about is on leases. Now, think about the best example of a movie theater. No movie theater has opened before October. At least I think October, November, there was no movie show which was actually done. So think about these malls which were charging hefty rents on PVRs and INOX and all other, you know, multiplexes. And these multiplexes were not running and was completely shut down. So the government has not permitted them to basically run their shows. So what happened? The leases which were supposed to be paid to the owners of the premises were also being avoided or the owner themselves have come across and have offered certain discounts. They have offered certain discounts to the uh, multiplex people saying that for these periods, you don't have to pay a rent. There's a particular clause called as force majeure. So when you talk about force majeure, this is basically a situation which has cropped up in a lease contract. Whenever there is a significant impact or where in such a situation where the lessee is not able to occupy the premises due to reasons beyond their control, in such cases, the lease rental will not be paid. So when such kind of impacts have come into picture, the concept of how does a rent get affected? We always know that a reduction in rent in simple sense would actually mean a lease modification. However, if you remember the lease modification logic, you would have to basically identify the present value of the remaining lease payments, adjust the lease liability, also adjust the lease deficit, and that difference between the lease deficit and the lease liability either sometimes is charged to PNL or sometimes there is no difference at all. Now, this as far as your exam questions are concerned becomes easy because generally in exam questions we have annual lease rentals. But in general sense, it is periodically paid at the end of each month. So when it is paid at the end of each month, it becomes even more hefty, even more a difficult logic to understand because you have so many lease payments and we have to discount each lease payment on a monthly basis. Huge task, huge task. So that is the reason why India's 116 has been not amended, but only a temporary relief has been given to people who are already applying in days 116 only for a temporary period. Now, what is the temporary period? That temporary period is ending on 30th of June 2021. That's it. So my relief is only offered up to 30th June 2021. And this relief or these provisions that we are going to discuss now are not applicable beyond 30th June 2021. Now, what exactly is the relief? And what was the treatment if there was no relief? And what is the treatment if there is relief? We need to understand these logics. So let's see. So let's say I have two people, a lessee and a lessor. A lessor and a lessee. The lessee has transferred a right to control the use of asset to lessee. right to control use of asset in return the lessee keeps paying to the lessor certain periodic lease rentals this is a general lease agreement now i'll tell you what basically occurred here whenever we have this kind of situation the point what happened here is Whenever the COVID has affected, there are different modifications to the lease which could have happened. So what could be the modifications occurred due to lease? Modifications in lease due to COVID-19 due to coronavirus. What was the impact on leases? 
there were certain modifications which were applied. What modifications were applied? First one, one type of modification was that there is a lapse of lease. That means the lessee is saying, I don't want to continue to use the premises. I want to leave the premises and I want to get out from here. Leave the premises. Whenever I leave the premises, in simple sense, we will derecognize both the ROU asset as well as the ROU liability. I will derecognize ROU asset and lease liability while the difference will be charged off to PNL. The difference between the value of ROU asset and ROU liability will be transferred off to PNL. This is the first kind of modification that can happen. So I'm only talking about modifications in lease which can occur due to COVID. So the premises can be left out. The second, the second type of adjustment which can occur to a lease or modification which can occur to a lease due to COVID is a reduction in ROU asset. Guys, when I reduce the ROU asset, that means instead of having 1 lakh SFT earlier, now let's say the number of the SFT area has come down to only 2000. So they have reduced the asset by itself. In such case, I will reduce the ROU asset and lease liability. One more thing can happen where there is a reduction in lease rentals. When there is a reduction in lease rental, this is where the notification applies. Notification applies right here. When no other aspect or no other part of the lease agreement has changed, the only thing which has changed is the amount of lease rental charge. Either the lease rental has been waived off or the lease rental has been reduced for a particular period, the notification applies to us. What does the notification say? If the notification was not there, I would have applied the same treatment. Reduce your ROU asset and reduce your lease liability. So here he has given an option to the enterprise to follow a significantly different treatment as well. Instead of reducing the ROU asset and instead of reducing the lease liability, I am giving you an aspect where you can modify it or where you can use this particular notification. Let's take a particular example. Let's say for example, the lease commenced on commencement of lease is on 1st of April 2019. Okay, lease rental is let's say 1 lakh per annum. Okay, and the lease term, the period for which the lease rent lease agreement is effective is let's say 5 years. Let's say the interest rate implicit from lease, which we generally call it as IRR with respect to India's 116, was let's say 10%. Okay. In this situation, how do I recognize the ROU asset and ROU liability on 1st April? On 1st April 2019, I'll recognize the asset. 
ROU asset account debit to lease liability amount let's say there is no other factor affecting the value of ROU asset I'll measure it at the value of present value so how do you get the valuation present value of lease rentals over lease term how do you calculate lease rentals over lease term calculate and tell me lease rental is 1 lakh to be paid at the end of each year present value annuity factor at 10% discount rate for 5 years calculate and tell me what is the number you can use your calculator guys PVAF ten percent for five years amount is three point seven nine seven nine zero seven or seven nine zero eight so I'll calculate as one lakh into 3.7908 so my ROU asset and lease liability will be measured at 3,79,800 now came in the modification what is the modification that he is talking about let's say Let's say the modification here is that the lease rentals were waived off or reduced to a certain extent for the period of, let's say, for one full year. So, modification is reduction of lease rental for financial year. 2020-21 to only 50,000 rupees per month instead of paying 1 lakh you just pay 50,000 rupees per month that is my modification to be done for one full year forget about the notification and tell me what is the entry that you pass and how do we calculate this entry first of all this lease has commenced on 1st April 2019 so first of all you should know what is the value of the lease as on 31st March 2020. So let's see value of ROU asset. ROU asset. Sorry, one second. Value of ROU asset and the value of lease liability. What is the figures? As on 1st April 2019, 1st April 2019, I recognize the ROU asset at what value? 3,79,800, correct? So, amount is 3,79,800. Guys, asset has to be depreciated over 5 years. So, depreciation. For the year 1920, during the year 1920, my depreciation should have been 3,79,800 divided by 5, which is nothing but 70, one second, which is nothing but 75,960. So the balance answer is 303840. This is the written down value of the asset as on 31st of March 2019 or 31st of March 2020. That is the end of the financial year 1920. Similarly, come to lease liability and check. On 1st April 2019, whatever is the figure, I will add interest or finance charges at the rate of 10%. 
I will reduce the amount of lease rent paid. And finally, I will come back to the answer on 31st of March 2020, whatever is the closing balance. Calculate opening, how much was the figure? Opening lease liability was 3,79,800. 10% interest, 37,980. But lease rental paid every year, 1 lakh should be reduced. Finally, the closing lease liability, considering all these factors, would have been how much? Calculate 3,79,800 plus 37,980 minus a lakh. Amount would be 3,17,780. This is the closing figures of lease asset or ROU asset and lease liability before modification. What is the modification which occurred? I reduced the lease rental to 50,000 rupees per month. So when I reduce it to 50,000 rupees per month, how do we calculate now? So if I have to reduce it by 50,000 rupees per month as on 31st March, so I'll put the heading, remeasurement of lease liability of lease liability upon modification because there is a modification I'll have to calculate the lease liability once again calculate if I have to calculate lease liability here my lease liability should be present value of future lease payment so lease liability is equal to now for one year that is 2021 there is a reduction of lease rental to only 50,000 rupees per month. But after that year, I will have to pay 1 lakh again. So calculate. It would be. fifty thousand rupee. In 2020 Into present value factor of 10,1. 10% for one year. After that, plus 1 lakh rupees I will pay. Furthermore, lease term to run is 3 more years. Because first year I paid entire 1 lakh. Second year COVID situation came in. 50,000 reduced. After 2 years, another 3 years of lease is still there. So multiply it by PVAF. 10% for 2 to 5, sorry, 3 to 5 years. I'll tell you how to calculate that 3 to 5 years is nothing but 10% for 5 years minus 10% for 2 years. As simple as that. Calculate 10% for 1 year is how much? 10% for 1 year. 0 0.909. So amount is, this is equal to 50,000 into 0 0.909. Plus 1 lakh into PVF up to 5 years is how much? We already calculated PVF up to 5 years. That is how much? 3.7908. So 3.7908 is for 5 years. Minus first 2 years, what is the PVF? Oh, I'm sorry guys. 4 years, right? I'm sorry guys. Right now, another 3 years to run is from 2nd year to 4th year. 2 to 4. Yes, now you calculate. For 4 years, PVF is 3.1699 or I can take it as 98. Let me take it as 99. Minus the first year PVF. That is 0 0.909. Now you calculate. Otherwise you take it 1 lakh. PVF of 2 years 1 lakh. PVF of 3 years 1 lakh. PVF of 4th year. That way also is fine. Actually I think that is easier I guess. Because anyways we are calculating so much. So calculate. 
50,000 into 0 0.909 is 45,450 plus 1 lakh into what is this calculation? 3.1699 minus 0 0.909. This is 2.2609. 2.2609 into 1 lakh is fine. You can easily calculate that is 2 lakh 26,090 plus 45,450. The answer will come down to 2,71,540. This is my revised calculation of lease liability upon modification. Upon modification, this is how my lease liability should actually appear. But how much was the lease liability? 3,17,780 was the lease, modifi uh, lease liability before modification. So, reduction in lease liability. Reduction in lease liability. How much? Calculate. Earlier it was 3,17,780 before the modification. Now after modification it is 271540. So if I calculate. The reduction is about 46,240. So what is the entry that I recognize? I'll have to reduce the RUSA and also the lease liability. Therefore, I am supposed to recognize the entry as lease liability account debit. To ROU asset. How much should I reduce? 46,000 to 40. Sir, what is there, sir? Like this, we calculated off. Why unnecessarily relief and all you are talking about or modification, notification for uh, COVID relief? Five years lease term, annual lease payments, I told you. That's why you calculated so easily. You think it is so easy to calculate if I give you monthly lease rental? And let's say the lease term was not five years it was 33 years generally ap tourism uh, your tourism departments normally give it for 33 years of lease calculate 33 years like that now unnecessarily don't you think you are changing the value of rou asset if i change the value of rou asset automatically depreciation will change so when why is so much of changes why should i inherit so much of changes just because of temporary relief that covid is a extraordinary situation it is not going to recur again and again every single time i don't expect the owner to come up with those reliefs to me. So what he's saying, you do this. This is right. I'm not saying that this is wrong. You do this or now what is the treatment that the notification gives? According to your notification, if I have to give a treatment for this reduced lease, he says no change in the carrying value of ROU asset or lease liability. So the entry which I have seen just above, I don't have to pass that entry at all. I will ignore that entry for change in the value of lease liability and and the value of leased asset what he's saying is you depreciate the asset as if you there was no change in simple sense i would have repeated the entry what is the depreciation on the asset which we have already seen 75,960. that same entry depreciation account debit to rou asset 75,960 will continue because i'm not changing the carrying value of the rou asset then what about lease liability, sir? Compulsory lease liability has to become zero at the end of fifth year. How will it become zero when the amount paid is only 50,000 but you calculated lease liability based on one lakh? I agree. Your lease liability will not become zero at the end of fifth year. If I calculate like that, see what I'll do now. 
What is the carrying value? Three lakh seventeen thousand seven eighty. Interest account debit. To lease liability first entry. Subsequent entry should be lease liability account debit to bank for the amount paid for the lease rental paid. Calculate the amount three lakh seventeen thousand seven eighty into ten percent interest is how much? Thirty one thousand seven seventy eight. How much did I pay by bank? Because of the reduced lease rental, I only paid fifty thousand rupees. I only paid fifty thousand rupees. But he says when you reduce your lease liability, reduce it by the entire one lakh. Why are you reducing by entire one lakh? Because that is how you calculated, no? So what he is saying? This reduction should be transferred to P and L. This difference of fifty thousand rupees or reduction in lease rental should be transferred to P and L. So this way he is saying, even though I paid only fifty thousand, whatever existing calculations were there, you continue those calculations as it is. You don't have to do your lease modification computation and revise your lease liability and lease debt. This is not necessary. He is saying you can do even this way also. Calculate interest normally. Calculate the reduction in lease liability to the extent of the entire amount as if there was no concession. The difference between the pay actual payment made and the amount which was supposed to be done is the concession given. Such concession will be transferred to P and L. This is nothing but concession or reduction. This is the treatment which was given by the notification for only a temporary period. So, what is he saying here? He is saying that this particular notification relief due to COVID is only up to. Thirtieth June two thousand twenty-one. If your rent concession is beyond the thirtieth June twenty-one, then it is not possible to apply this notification. I can apply this notification only if the concession in rent due to COVID was given only up to thirtieth June two thousand twenty-one. Clear. So this is fundamentally what he is talking about. Clear.